<laughs> Sweet. All right. Aloha, guys. Welcome to our final Seasider series of the month for this week. Uh, we're glad to have you guys with us today. Um, as always, I am our host, Caden Hines. And with me today, he was with us yesterday, too. <laughs> My name is Vinay Juriel. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And Ariel, other student assistant. So today we'll be talking about um, something that we've been working on for a little bit, which is our uh, handbook. So we made a, a handbook for new international students. So we're just kind of kind of be um, unveiling it, I guess, um, giving a sneak peek and we'll talk about what's in it. And, yeah, it should probably be a pretty short one. I know I said yesterday it would be a short one too, and it ended up being like the regular amount of time. But today, for real, I think it'll be short. Usually Fridays are short. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and share my screen and we can get going. All right, here we go. Oh, of course, we have our intro video. Amazing. <laughs> All right. All right. So like I said, today we're talking about the handbook. Uh, and also, like I said, it's something we've been working on for a little while now. Um, so we're excited to be sharing it with you guys a little bit about it today and then eventually to like fully give it to everyone probably next week or the week after. So today we'll just be talking about what it kind of is. We'll give a little bit overview of what's in it and then we'll just talk about where we'll put it for people to use it. <laughs> Let's go. All right. So what what is going to be in our handbook? Well, like I said, it's a handbook for new international students. Uh, it basically has a bunch of different information and resources that we think that new international students would want to know. So it has stuff from everything about your visa to um, different information about campus and as well as different information about Hawaii as well. And almost everything that we've done previous Seasider series about, so things from this week, things from last month, even the very first month that we did it back in May, I think, uh, pretty much everything that we've done a Seasider series about is in the handbook and there's more stuff in it as well because it's all, inf all the information that we could think of almost that we thought would be good for a new international student to know. And uh, yeah. So the handbook, it's gonna be, divided into eight main sections. There's the, first there's an aloha and welcome, which is kind of just like a nice introduction. There's a preparation section, life on campus, academics, employment, regulations, living in Oahu, contact us section, and then aloha and mahalo. So those are the, the main sections. Vinay is really excited. Them. I know. I'm really excited. <laughs> it's going to be the first handbook that will be published by ISS. So, so those who, especially for the new students, it's going to be very much helpful. Yeah. And then today we're not going to be showing the whole thing because for one, it's not 100% finished. It's like 97% finished. We just have to do like a few revisions, but we also, this is just the sneak peek. So we have a few pages in here. So the first section is the aloha and welcome. And then I also decided just to talk about the last section because they're kind of similar. They're both just like nice introduction and conclusion to the handbook saying welcome to campus and we're excited to have you basically. 
They're both called aloha because aloha in Hawaii means hello and goodbye. And it also refers to love. So we wanted, obviously the first one's hello, the second one's goodbye. They both are our love for our, all of our international students and helping them and everything as well. So those are in there. But then the first like real section that really starts giving information is the preparation section. So this section uh, is will be useful for students who haven't yet come to campus, which um, probably most students by the time this is given out will, but in future semesters, it'll be helpful for them, hopefully. Um, but within the preparation section, there's some subsections. There's the before arrival section, which is basically like the pre-arrival checklist, which we talked about on Monday this week. And so it'll have pr pretty much everything we talked about in there. Uh, it'll have a packing list, which we also talked about on Tuesday, I think. And everything we talked about that day will be in there. Um, we'll have a section on understanding the F1 and J1 status, which we talked about yesterday. And, um, and then we'll have a upon arrival, which is basically like the post arrival checklist, which we did on Wednesday. So, wow, everything we, everything we did this week, I just realized is in this section pretty much because it's all around preparing to come to school. And so this week we were, since all the students are arriving, we wanted to talk about all those things. And then as you can see, here's a, a sample page from that section. All right. Life on campus, right? That's the, that's the next section. Yeah, I think uh, it's very important for us to, to remember the resources that are available and um, putting that all together in our handbook. It's, I feel it's a really great effort that Kaden and Karis did it because sometimes what happens is students, like when I came here first, I really did not know where the reading and writing center was or uh, that there is an EL sections, they have different classes and all that. Putting that all here, it's, it's gonna be really helpful. Yep, that's our hope. Um, so yeah, so then, the, yeah, like Vinay said, the Life on Campus section has some resources uh, specifically for things about campus. Um, yeah, pretty self-explanatory, I guess. <laughs> but <clears throat> specifically, there are subsections with the campus map. Uh, there's a section that talks about some of the rules of the school, specifically about Title IX, which is like the sexual misconduct rules and the honor code. Uh, there's a section about health and safety. So that one talks about um, information for COVID and uh, COVID testing, as well as resources for physical health and mental health as well. Um, there's a section about the calf and like eating basically and information about meal plants and stuff, which we've had Seasider series about before. Um, there's a section on housing, um, which some of these things like housing and meal plans were not, you know, directly over those things. So they're not like super in depth, but we have the links to everything that you could want to find. So we have the links to the other departments in there. Uh, we have a section about payments, so how to make payments for your tuition and fees and things like that. We have a section on uh, the different activities and events on campus. So like in this sample page, I think this is part of that section, events and seaside sports, things like that. Uh, and then we have a campus resources section that just lists out all the different departments on campus and gives their contact information, things like that. So, yeah. It's the life on campus section. Yeah, that's nice. And also, <laughs> you know, we do have, when we talk about activities on campus, we have a engage, you know, um, website wherein you can go and actually select some of the um, chapters that you want to enroll in for fall. <coughs> some of the chapters are free to join and some would be, you might have to pay for it, but because we have a food fest coming up and also international education week, um, in November. So really it would be nice that if you all join. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, I think in, uh, activities on campus, there sh it should talk about clubs and stuff right, as well. Yeah. So, 
So yeah, that's something to look out for. The next section <clears throat> is the academic section. And this one is specific. So these are also resources that are like on campus, obviously, but these ones are specific to classes and your grades and things like that. So uh, there's subsections about the Holokai program, which is basically the, the- Major um, into minus. Yeah, the, major into yeah, the program for your majors and your minors that you're required to have one major and two different minors. It just talks about the different requirements for that. Uh, there's a section on the requirements to graduate. Um, we, talk, we give the academic calendar for fall 2021. Uh, we have a section that it talks about majors and minors, but I mean, there's so many different ones. We, we didn't list them out, but we have like a link to, to the website that has all of them. Um, there's a section that gives tips for how to, and shows how to register for classes. And so it, it shows like screenshots of going through the process of registering. Um, we talk about scholarship information. Uh, we have a section on academic advisors and how to contact them, as well as the professors. Or it has a link to the website with all the professors, because once again, there's too many of them to list out. Um, and then Benet mentioned earlier how he didn't know where like the reading, writing lab and things like that were. So we included just another section with other resources for academics, such as the library, reading, writing lab, math lab, things like that, and their locations and how to contact them as well. Very impressive. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the, the sample page talking about the course schedule. Now this is this is again it's gonna be a fun thing applying for jobs you know as an international student especially with I work um, most of the students are are like before COVID hit almost all international students with I work were required to work with Foundation Culture Center that's a two years um, requirement however during COVID that had changed because Foundation Culture Center wasn't able to offer as many jobs that they were doing it earlier so students were able to go back and come to campus and work. And I think it's gonna still be the same for a few months till COVID and till the time PCC does not open it up. Because I had a word with you know, the director and he said like, yeah, they're not, um, not focusing that much because they don't, they don't have that much opening. So yeah, again, when you come here, that's a question that every international student has, oh, do I have to work there? Definitely, yes. If you're able to find a good job uh, or your required job that you're looking for, definitely work at the Polynesian Culture Center. But if not, then yes, you, you still have options available at the campus. Now, with this booklet uh, providing you the rules, how to apply for a job, you know, about dependence if you're coming as a married student with a spouse who is not a student and are looking for a job, yes, campus does option that there are options available for dependent jobs, but they are very limited. Um, again, taxes and social security, academic trainings and OPTs, are, those are the really important, you know, I think topics that you really want to focus on and study. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then at the end, there's a section on for resources to help with employment, which actually just takes you back to the university resources section, because they're all in that nice. section. <laughs> All right, then there's also a short section about regulations, which we kind of talked about some of these um, yesterday as well for for maintaining status. Um, and so that's basically what most of the section is about is the different steps that we talked about yesterday on how to maintain your status um, and what to make sure to do as well as traveling overseas, what the rules are for that for international students. And yeah, it's a shorter section. It just has those two things but it has important information. Um, the next section is living in Oahu, which is, was like my, probably my, one of my more enjoyed sections of writing because it was about fun stuff that I knew about. Nice. Definitely. I think, um, you know, most of the students, when they come in, they say like, oh, can I use my old, uh, like you know, my home, 
bank account or debit card or credit card? Definitely yes, you can, but remember there are charges that are huge and all that. So that's why we thought like it's gonna be really important like how to get your phone number because you can use an you can use an international number, but it's gonna be very expensive because you're paying roaming charges, you're paying incoming call fees and all that. That happened to me when I came here. I had to buy an, a plan that would allow me to be uh, able to use my own local number in the United States. That was really expensive, like $100 a month. That was like super expensive. Um, again, banking information, how to open your bank account. If you like to travel out and you're like a free bird thing, like you, know, you, you're, you like to explore, I think transportation, again, we talked about buses, passes last time in one of our, um, I think it was a seaside series. Right? Yeah, just like mm -hmm. one of the other sections, like pretty much all these things we've done mm -hmm. seaside series about before. So that's the good thing about this handbook is that all the information that we've been like working to share with international students, it'll kind of all be put in this handbook. Nice. Um, and yeah, then there's a section about just different things to do on the island, which we've also talked in, about in Seasider series before. And we divide it into different sections. This is an example of that. Uh, and then there's a section on re Hawaii resources, so things like um, mental health hotline and the Coast Guard, just different important resources from the state of Hawaii as well. Nice. And I think uh, because this handbook is all based on our, our you know, these talks stories or like the seaside stories, it would be easy for students to go back and search for those videos, right, on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. I think. Yep, they're all on there. So yeah, so if you have, if you want to get more information on it, definitely that is a place mm -hmm. to have a complete section of that, right? Yeah, true. All right, oh, then wow. one, of the, one of the later sections is contact us, which is a super short section. It just has our contact information and as well it has like another section about all our team, team members and stuff. But here's the sample picture of that. It's got a beautiful picture of me. In China. Back when I, uh, back when I had a different hair. <laughs> And Karis, so me and Karis are the ones who basically Same made the, the handbook. And then our other coworker, Natasha, and our, our student manager, Vinay. Thank you. Amazing picture. Yes. <laughs> All right, so uh, lastly, we're just talking about where are we gonna put these out. So we're planning to post this on our website uh, so that anyone who comes to our website can find this resource available. Um, we'll also, I think we we'll, we might email it to some of the students who are coming into campus so they can have that resource with them. Um, and then new students in the future as well, we might, I think we'll want to give it to them and we might print a few copies, maybe, maybe not any, we'll see. It was kind of made for the digital format because it has links in it, but we might, if anyone wants print one we might print a few of them but for the most part it'll be digital but yeah like i said we plan to have it out um probably next week possibly the week after but yeah sometime pretty soon so yeah before the semester starts right that's the goal mm -hmm. yeah nice yep um yeah so that's pretty much everything we had today uh like i said it's a bit shorter so Thank you guys for coming to our Seasider series this week for August. Um, like I said, we're excited because like school is starting soon and all of our, it's in person this semester. So all the students that we've been having these Zoom meetings for over the last several months, like ever since for a long time, all of these students are finally coming to campus. So we're super excited for yeah, the semester to start and to see all, the, all, all you guys coming in. So. It's going to be super fun. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for coming. So now, if you guys have any questions about the handbook or if you have any questions from anything from the Seasider series this week, um, feel free to ask right now.
right. <laughs> well, that's all good. I figured there wouldn't be very many questions about the handbook. Is this? Oh, we got a couple of questions. The first one, direct message to us said, "Is this the last Seasider series?" Uh, no. No, I don't think so. It's the kind of the last. So it might be the last Seasider series for students coming in the fall because we kind of we kind of have ended up aiming this series for the new students who are coming. So starting in the fall semester, we might start inviting the students who are coming in the winter. So um, it won't be like the last Seasider series of our office, but um, possibly kind of for, for the students coming in the fall. And then from Mark says, where can I find the recording? Oh, the recording will be posted on YouTube. Yeah, I can show our YouTube page right now. That's a good idea. Let me, one second, share my screen. Uh, after I get to our YouTube page, where's the normal? You just go to YouTube. Right, here we go. So yeah, our YouTube page right here. Look at our massive 14 subs. <laughs> right, we need to uh, subscribe. <laughs> and leave comments too, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, so you just look up, if you just look up like BYUH International Student Services or BYU Hawaii International Student Services, then it should come up. And all of our Seasider series are posted here, and we have them divided. June Seasider series, May International Showcase. We'll have we'll, we'll post the playlist for August as well next week, so you you can find this recording will be up there as well. Um, so that is our YouTube channel. It's, it's slowly but surely growing, nice and it has <laughs> but not really. <laughs> Actually, I need to go back to the, to the uh, presentation because we have an important last slide. We have a last slide. <laughs> are there any other questions from anyone? I think there's a request from Aki. From Ryan? Well, we can't Ryan, if it. you're saying anything, you're muted. Yeah, Aki. Oh, Aki? Yeah. Has a question? Yeah. No, I think he has a request. A request? A request? What is a request? Yeah, what? What, <laughs> what a request? We can't see it. Oh, okay. It's just oh, coming. Let's see. Sing us a... Oh, I see, I see. Sing us a song. <laughs> Do we have, like, Sing a, a song? song? Do we have a school song? <laughs> Do we have a school song? No. As far as I know, no. Um, oh, we do have Aloha Oe, but that's only done after one, during the, after the graduation, I guess. And that too, you need your own, uh, state, <laughs> like, war of states. Like, no, the, and Vinay can sing um, Jai Ho. No, I can't. Indian <laughs> song from Slumdog Melon. I wish. <laughs> My voice is too heavy. Jai Ho. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's one of the songs that you want to... Uh, if you want to watch it on YouTube, it's Aloha Oe. It's um, one of the sad. The Hail Alma Mater, okay. isn't that our BYU Hawaii song? A BYU Hawaii song? Yeah, the Hail Alma Mater. Oh, is Aki going to sing for us? <laughs> hey, Aki, we need you Hail to sing, man. <laughs> I think he's preparing. Oh, he, <laughs> that's for us, too. <laughs> Um, we can sing. You can uh, definitely sing that song <laughs> if you're planning. Sing what song? The one that you were just talking about. Uh, Weller Man? Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, how does it go? Soon may the Weller Man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. <laughs> Pirate song. That's good. We did it. Oh, I'm <laughs> good. Thank you. All right. Yeah, there's your snippet of a song. <laughs> Yeah, he's going to perform very soon, so when you're on <laughs> campus, 
That's going true. On. International Education Week. We're going to be having a bunch of activities, and one oh, of them yeah. is uh, karaoke night. So, but I probably won't sing it that because <laughs> I'll be working. Oh, okay. At it. Um, if you're working with ISIS, so definitely it's going to be work from work. You know, it's all work hours. <laughs> all right. If there are any other questions, though, then uh, last, we can go to our last slide. Oh, nice. Wow. Mahalo. Yay. For the Seaside Series. And we got the sun in there. And there are two sun or rainbows. All right. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining. We, like I said, we look forward to seeing you guys soon. And also, it doesn't have to be the very last Seasider series. If you want to join future ones, we can send you the link to them as well. So, mahalo, guys, and aloha. Thank and you. we will see you soon. <laughs>